you've been wondering whether or not you can mix peptides in the same syringe, I'll tell you that the answer depends on what you're mixing and how long those peptides are in contact. So the way that I look at it is there are two completely different scenarios here. First, drawing peptides into a syringe and injecting immediately versus second, storing peptides together for hours or days after they've been reconstituted. The key difference here is that time is the critical factor. And to understand why, you need to understand what happens when peptides interact. You see, every peptide has an electrical charge, like the positive and negative ends of a battery. And when you mix peptides together, these charges interact. Opposite charges attract and stick together. Similar charges repel and push apart. And both of these situations can cause problems. Aggregation, precipitation, and degradation. Aggregation is when peptides clump together. Think of peptide molecules as Legos that start sticking together into bigger clumps. Precipitation is when those clumps get so big that they fall out of the solution. So you'll see cloudiness or particles in your vial. Once this happens, the peptides are completely ruined. And degradation is when the peptide structure itself breaks down. Once the structure changes, the peptide just completely stops working. All three of these situations require time. So for immediate injection, you're not giving it enough time for those charges to interact and create any problems. So rule of thumb here, in most cases, injecting them in the same syringe is okay. Storing them together, not okay. Now there is an exception. There are four types of peptides that must always stay separate. Number one, your GLP-1 or GIP type drugs like semaglutide, terzepatide, ritotrutide. Second, you have to always keep kegrilantide separate because it requires a different pH for reconstitution, which is not compatible with most peptides. Third, always keep peptides with DAC separate from others. A good example would be CJC1295 with DAC. And fourth, always keep HGH and HGH fragments separate from other peptides because of specific formulation requirements. So if you're using simple research peptides with the same BAC water and you inject within seconds, you're working with very low risk and it's probably just fine. But avoid mixing those four categories and never store mixed peptides after they've been reconstituted. Now, if you are looking for more information on peptide dosage, research, and safe sources, there is a link to my free school community in the description below. Or if you're on Instagram and Facebook, you can just comment the word school with a K and I'll DM you an invite. And if this was helpful for you, make sure you share the video. Thank you.